we're going to build a coronavirus tracking app and we'll do it in the style of a stock trading app called Robinhood. Coronavirus has dramatically impacted life around the whole world for months now, and all the data indicates that it will continue to impact our society for months to come. As software engineers, the best thing we can do right now is to build tools to understand and display the data related to COVID-19. This topic is close to my heart because my sister actually contracted coronavirus and she was in pretty bad shape for a few weeks. Thankfully, she's recovered now, but that experience motivated me to build this project. Understanding the spread of coronavirus is critical to understanding what we can and should do to respond to it. Unfortunately, Google Play has prohibited all apps related to COVID-19 unless they're from a government or medical institution. So I decided to build my own COVID-19 tracking app, and I'm gonna show you how to build it as well. Our app uses the same UI components as the Robinhood stock trading app, and the whole app is going to be written in less than 200 lines of Kotlin code. Let me do a demo of the app. The purpose of what we're building is to be able to quickly see trends around the growth of coronavirus, both at the national level and state level. So by default, when we open up the app, we're displaying the number of positive COVID-19 cases nationwide or across the whole US. And I have the ability up here to toggle between the number of negative cases per day, number of positive cases, or number of deaths per day. And you'll notice that notice that the graph animates in. Down here, we have the ability to toggle between the different time scales. So maximum means display all the data we get back from the API, which is generally starting from around March. One month means the most recent one month of data, and one week means most, most recent week of data. By default, we're showing maximum. The other option I have is to actually scrub on the chart, on this line chart. And you'll notice that we update the metric, the individual metric number shown down here, it animates in, and it displays the exact quantity of this metric on that day. So on April 25th, 2020, there were roughly 1,800 deaths in the US. I also have the ability to dive into a particular state. So for example, in California, we can see that there's been a recent increasing trend in number of positive cases per day in California. And the same things apply. I could also dive into the number of negative cases in California, or number of deaths. And if I wanted to look at a particular day, I can scrub over the graph and you can see how the text animates in down here. If you keep watching, you'll learn how to build exactly this step by step. The data for our app is coming from the COVID tracking project, which is the most reliable data source I could find for getting daily updates on the number of coronavirus cases. Two of the core components in our application, this chart, which is called a Spark chart, along with this changing text view called a ticker view, both of them are coming from open source projects from the Robinhood app. Both the Robinhood app and our app are displaying the change of a metric over time, stocks versus coronavirus cases. So there's a natural fit to using the same components that they're using in the Robinhood app. And Robinhood is considered one of the best designed Android apps out there. So there's a lot to learn from what they're doing. I hope you're as excited as I am to start building this project in the next video, we're going to fetch data using Retrofit from the COVID Tracking Project API. I'll see you then.